Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Garotero. So we're here to do the collective reading for Wednesday, November 10th. This is for Wednesday, November 10th. Now, on Thursday, we're going to have the 1111 portal. Okay. It's the twin flame portal. Okay. So, like, you know, those that you are, like, really connected to or that person that you're really connected to you might get some messages for them on Thursday. Okay. So, let's see. What message do we have for the collective um, for November 10th? Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it, okay? This is a collective reading. It's general. This is my Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. I really love this deck. I really, really do, guys. So, I wanted to use it for this week. So, what do we have for the collective for November 10th? Wednesday, November 10th. What do we have for the collective spirit? I recently posted like a video of me like saging my space. Like I want you guys to know like how serious I take this, okay? It's not a game, it's not a game. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is why it's not a game, okay? Listen, oh. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously, no jokes, no jokes, okay? It's the heartache and loss card, okay? This is the three of swords, okay? And this, 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 energy gives the three of swords to someone that's been through a heartbreak okay some some type of a uh, disappointment or loss okay and with the throat chakra here on the bottom this is about you know this is your throat chakra is you know your speech your communication it's like someone hasn't shared that or there's some type of discussion that needs to happen you know or some somebody needs to speak up okay it's like um we're gonna clarify and see okay but let me read you the message from the uh book the guidebook about heartache and loss okay so number three for heartache and loss it says this i oh, know that's the wrong one bear with me guys i don't know this book as much as i know the others yeah this is it okay here we go so it says the meaning of this card revolves around disappointment sorrow and separation which can cause upheaval and stress. It takes all the strength you have at this moment in order to move past the pain and heal your heart. The love that has given that has been given to another should now be focused on you. Although you might look at this card as being a negative, it can act as a tremendous catalyst, encouraging you to move on. The painful experiences of life are just as valuable as the joyous ones. You may not appreciate the sentiment at this challenging time, but life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past, but use your strong mental control to deal with your emotions. Have faith in knowing that you will get through this. Mm, 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 mm. listen when i tell you and y'all wonder why like you know oh, i ain't gonna say y'all people okay wonder why like you know i do tarot and listen and this is why okay so uh i'm gonna clarify this message for you and let you know let's see why ooh, let's see why heartache and loss is here this is one of my favorite decks. I like these. Okay. Heartache and loss. Heartache and loss for the collective for November 10th. Wednesday, November 10th for the collective. Heartache and loss. Okay. You will get through this, okay? Um, everything that occurs in our life is for a reason. Why is heartache and loss here? What a collective. Ooh, what a collective. Listen. Mm. Listen. This is beautiful. Okay. With the will of fortune, this is positive change forwards. It is abundance. It is, you know, God looking out for you and seeing maybe some trials and tribulations that you have gone through or were going through um, and, and saw that it needs to come to an end. Okay. Consider it almost like. I mean, you are blessed, okay? But, like, definitely you're protected. Protected, I would even say, okay? It was like, 
with the nine of wands is you know right there that's the wounded warrior that's that's the energy of someone that has been through a lot okay and with the will of fortune it's like god said time has to you know change has to happen okay that's, that's enough right okay with the high priestess here this is about intuitive um growth and uh you connecting with spirit okay this is spirit being within you okay and saying okay that's enough okay it's like you you got whooped enough okay or not even whooped or you've learned the lesson okay yeah see with the five of um pinnacles here this is about lack this is about loss this is about um neglect even forgotten pushed to the side okay um, and with the Ten of Cups here, this could have been by someone. Um, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after energy. In any capacity that you see happily ever after as. So this is you feeling some type of loss in that. Okay? If your happily ever after is you, you know, living on an island with five dogs. Okay? But something occurred where there was a loss or some type of hurt and pain. Maybe you lost one of your dogs. If I, I had my dog for six years, if I lose my rest... So imagine someone that's had their dog for 15, 20 years, right? You know, that is their family. If you've experienced some type of loss, if you've been going through some type of hardship or some type of pain or some type of um, neglect, upheavals, probably like, you know, a lot of discomforts. This is... God's intervention or way of saying, okay, that's enough. Okay, like the lesson has been learned or. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is like your way of gaining clarity about life going forward. Okay, and like. Really, really taking the lesson of the heartache and using it to drive you forward, okay? That's kind of what that was saying, um, but let me get more clarity. Why is heartache and loss here for the collective? Why is heartache and loss here for the collective? Mm -hmm. Okay. The three of pentacles, okay? Yeah, there's an opportunity to rebuild. So there's an opportunity to like... um to end the suffering, to end the um, lack, to end the um, yeah, to end that and to rebuild. Okay, this is about rebuilding, collaboration, working together. You might have to work with other people to do this. Okay, this might require you to um, build a, a team around you. Okay, at this time. Okay. Three of Pentacles is working with others, collaboration, but, you know, at the very end, and with the High Priestess coming out with it, it's like, you're, you're rebuilding, but understand that God is in the mix. Like, God is there with you doing this rebuild, okay? Include him in your decisions. Include include God in your um, movements forward, okay? Yeah, it's like, you're getting that opportunity to relieve the suffering even okay so let's see why is the throat chakra here as the overall energy for the collective on november 10th three of cups okay so this is coming together with family and friends it's like building a team around you okay enjoying life being happy okay coming out of sorrow and pain Okay, leaving those troubled times behind. Okay, the Eight of Cups doesn't necessarily always have to be like walking away from a person or walking away from a connection. It can simply mean um, leaving behind past disappointments and it actually came out. Yeah, okay. Speak, speak up with the throat chakra, okay? This is the energy of speaking up, okay? But let me read the message from that card. Number five for the throat chakra. Yeah, it's a light blue. Sound is ham, element sound. Okay, it's a thyroid, I speak. 
And it says, this chakra is, of course, located in the throat area, communication, sound, creativity, and the ability of clear audience, inner hearing, um, are associated with it. Many artists, speakers, writers, singers, and individuals involved in creative arts will often have active throat chakras. To balance and stimulate this energy center, try humming, chanting, or singing out loud. It's a great tonic. Most important, if you have something to say, please speak up. When this area is fully activated, don't be surprised if you suddenly become creatively inspired. Okay? So, yeah, this is definitely about you speaking. Okay? Um, with the Three of Cups here, this is you going around family and friends. Okay? Engaging with others. Speaking up about, um, you know, maybe what you've gone through. Okay? What you're going through. Okay? Um but also using the communication that you do have with your family and friends or people that you are engaging with, using their communication with you, even if you don't talk about what you're going through, as a way to heal, okay? As a way to leave behind um, things that have gone wrong in the past or things that haven't worked for you, okay? Leave behind that pain with the Three of Swords, all right? Yeah, because this King of Wands energy, it's like you have some built-up passions or built-up um, uh, energies or things that you want to say, Okay, it's like there's a lot you want to embark on, okay? Um, even release from your own self, okay? <laughs> from your own self. Okay, with the two of pentacles here, you're, you've been juggling a lot, okay? Maybe even just, you know, trying to figure out the best moves to make, the best thing to do, the best way to go about um, like the long term, like what is the long term going to look like? Because with the magician being here on the bottom, this is about your ability to create. It's like you are kind of looking at the past and you're, you're not happy with how things have gone and you want to make the changes. You have things that are going on within you. Okay. As far as like your passions, the things you want to accomplish. And you're like, how do I go about getting what it is that I truly want? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles energy, this is, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. But the Ten of Pentacles is about long-term stability. It's about, you know, creating a legacy for your family in the future, right? It's about planting healthy seeds that, you know, take you for a lifetime, okay? Um, really building the abundance that you can stand financial abundance that you can like have long term you know where the kids come home from college and you know grandkids and like you know that type of you know you have this vision whatever the case may be and you're like how do I leave behind the disappointments the sorrow the regret and move forward and be happy because I have dreams. I have things I'm trying to manifest. Okay. Well. God's telling you like. It doesn't end here. Okay. This isn't. This isn't. Um, this is just a lesson. This is just a way to get to the things that you are manifesting. Okay. So. With this will of fortune. Change is happening. If it's not already. If it hasn't already started. All right. This card coming out for you is saying that if you are experiencing some type of like heartache or loss, understand that you will come through this and know that it's time to speak up about what it is that you do want to happen in your life. Okay, Shug. So that's what I have for you. <laughs> I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs> um. Why is it not working? Is the battery going or something?